Hello, dear ones, it's Alice. Remember a long time ago there was a Star Trek episode about a young man who had dreamed of being, I think, alone in space all his life. And uh, then the, the uh, USS Enterprise came across like a, a being, a one-celled being in space. It was uh, upset and it was like all by itself and it turned out that this, this, this being was a kind of sentient light, light sh sentient um, spaceship that needed to have a human for companionship. And so it turned out that these two, the, the one that dreamed of being all alone and the one that, that needed someone like that got together and formed kind of a, a union in space. And, and the end of the show was um, the Enterprise leaving this, this, this young man uh, in the presence of this, this sentient one-celled organism uh, as its life support system and environment. So along those lines, I'd like to just discuss some, some ideas that as templates for the future. Um, one is that there may be, in the fifth dimension, there may be light ships that are sentient, that are carrying within them the consciousness or awareness of many advanced beings, and that all of these function in harmony with the light ship to, um, to travel, to participate in explorations, and, and to assist newly developing uh, civilizations to onward towards greater awareness. So that's one kind of reality that we may be tapping into as, as we continue. We may actually have memories of this kind of, of life where, where one of us, for instance, functioned as a light ship and, um, and others of us functioned uh, in various roles such as scout, um, commander, uh, operations manager, logistics, and all these different functions of, of a space crew, uh, science officer, <laughs> um, in, in, in a feeling of, of almost total cooperation together. So that that which was, this, that was, which was the environment, the living environment of all of these beings was almost one with them. Then um, I'd like to descend to a fourth dimensional reality in which there is uh, an, an astral form, which would be your astral form or my astral form, that is inhabited by many, many beings. And these beings, uh, tiny beings, um, are, are very, very happy. To get, they're very joyful beings very aware and very sentient, each of them so, so tiny, like microscopically tiny, compared to our own astral field. And their, their job is to, to enjoy being there and to, um, and to transmit once, once a month, I think on the full moon maybe, to transmit information through our right top crown chakra, chakra uh, to another being that is overseeing uh, our life on Earth. Would that be something or what? Now, consider that, that, that in the fourth dimension, the, the awareness of, there, there may be different um, energies and forces at play, some of which desire not human happiness. And so imagine that the function of these tiny beings may have been distorted in some way by the brevity or density of the light in the fourth dimension, so that their um, role becomes more one of creating disharmony or suffering in the astral form of the human being. And so that um, they actually um, appear to be antagonistic in some manner to the, to the pure joy of the human being. On the other hand, that the life could not be experienced in the fourth dimension, which is a dumbed-down dimension, without their help 
in, in creating disharmony in our astral form. So, so there's that. And you may have experience of that, as I did, had a dream kind of experience. Now, descending to the third dimension, we have first the physical body. The physical body is the um, spaceship, as it were, for many, many different kinds of microorganisms. Suppose it were true that all of these microorganisms, tiny as they are, represent the light of God, and that, um, and that as we sleep, they, um, they they're able to take command of our spaceship and, and through their own united will or collective will um, ask us to do things like open our mouth or increase our, our blood pressure or decrease our blood pressure or whatever it is that they need to accomplish their ends on earth. Whether their ends are hostile to us or beneficial to us depends on the type of microorganism, right? So as commanders of our own spaceships, quote unquote, we have the ability to adjust the 3D um, space sh light ship environment by, through diet. We can decide through diet what kind of uh, life forms we're going to have in our body, okay? Which is why people like Judy Satori have wonderful suggestions through trial and error, I'll bet you, about ways to increase the beneficial life forms within us. As you start to come to awareness about, about the, uh, the actual intelligence or awareness of these life forms, it can be a bit of a freak out unless you know that, that you do have command of your spaceship, quote unquote. You do get to decide what adventitious life forms are there and which, which, um, which can't, can't be allowed to be there. And through your own act of will, you get to, you get to change your own environment, you know what I mean? And just a final thought on human uh, groups, okay? Human groups are like the human organism. They're collections of, of lots of tiny consciousnesses over, overlit or overseen by one leader, or like in our case, the body. It's the leader of the organization instead. All right. It depends on the group how closely it resembles its distant relative, the light ship. Some groups uh, are run as if the leader is in control of everything, you know? And some groups are, are cooperative ventures, and then there's everything in between. And depending on the purpose of the group, one leadership style may be um, appropriate or not appropriate. Wouldn't it be nice if we were able in our groups to change the style of leadership from moment to moment upon the, upon the whim and upon the hope, upon the, uh, the joy of the, uh, depending on the joy of the people involved so that they were instantly responsive. Um, so that the leadership was instantly responsive to the, to the happiness of all those concerned. Wouldn't that be cool? I feel that the world is heading in that direction. Back into the memory of, of the days of spaceships, uh, light ships, when, when all was one, all was harmony, and all was peace, love, and joy. And every moment was a, a, an adventure in bliss. Ha <laughs>